go inside when but instead of going through the shop so I'm gonna go through the front door see if they let me they keep their property absolutely pristine never see trash and people are throwing trash out their window I promise you that's what people do trashy people that is not me and you they're big on the landscaping at when there's no doubt about that especially on the golf course don't think Disney has anything on the win. Got a lot of beautiful uh, vegetation. And that grass is obviously, well, not obviously, but it is fake. But what's, I think it makes it look better. Because it looks like a, a putting green at uh, Augusta. And then the flowers really pop. The really drunk people have already left. Uh, the ones that got drunk in the daytime, that is. We got more to, to see. The walkway is a little bit weird. It's also the, uh, the line for the taxis. There's always people that don't understand how to stand in a line. Like no one's going to come walking past them. why you come in here to see all the uh, flowers and displays that they do. They do them for every season. This is Sunday night, April, I think it's April 16th, whatever that weekend is. It's been a very busy weekend in Vegas. Not really for any apparent reason. There wasn't any big shows, there wasn't any big conventions. Just, I think, uh, April. April's a big, a busy month in uh, Vegas because of the weather. And the weather finally is good because it hasn't been 
coldest winter in 50 years. There's a uh, um, curved escalators. Beautiful dining outside with a waterfall. Probably 60 feet tall. Yeah, it's beautiful. If you dine at Lakeside, get reservations far enough out that you can get a, an outdoor seating. Because if you're going after the sun goes down, it's even in the even in July, it's nice. It's dry heat, remember? Sometimes it, it's still over 100 degrees uh, past midnight. But really, it does not feel like that. Especially out there with all that water. It's a very classy uh, casino, as is its uh, sister casino, Encore. Basically the same colors. I don't know if it's the same carpet. This carpet, same as this one? Let's see. That's a little different. I'm starting to pay attention to the carpet for some reason. In case somebody asks me. There might be a quiz later. So you play this roulette game right here. Trying to find the minimum. You can't find it. It looks like it's at least a dollar. Looks like you can play it at least as low as a dollar. It's a fun game if you're playing low. Especially if you get the right waitress. Because for now, the waitress is still the one that decides if they're if you're getting your free drink or not, and it has a lot to do with how much you tip her. It's always good to go with a few people. You get her you know, three people, four people, and you give that girl five dollars every time she comes by. She'll keep coming. If you're by yourself, it's a little more difficult. Because all of a sudden, if you want to tip her a dollar, which is the old days, that she would be thrilled with that. She might not come back. She's her own boss. In most places. Not every place. Here's a sports book. I had a really bad run the last three days, mostly because of Steph Curry. 
he doesn't want a middle class neighborhood near his house and he made it happen. They canceled the uh, the plans. He's too good to have people uh, below him, near him. But you people keep worshiping him, not me. Yeah, he, he, the last three games, they were terrible. And all because of him, be truthful. Steph Curry. Not, anytime there's a game with him in it, I'm not betting it. I know y'all care about that. The funny thing about roulette is if you're betting a lot of uh, numbers all across the board, typically you use chips that are colored for you. So nobody knows really what you're betting. Now, if you just walk up and you just want to put a bunch of chips out, yes, people can look and see you've got 100, 100, 100. But if you are going to stay there a while, they change your chips out to your color. And then you don't know what the hell you're... You know, but people walking by don't know. If those chips are valued at a dollar or a hundred dollars. It's always nice to see the real number on it, you know? So we know if you're impressive or not. We know if you could get in Steph Curry's uh, neighborhood. Or if you're going to be in uh, LeBron's neighborhood. It's something we need to know. See, those chips, those chips right there are change-out chips. And then there's one green chip. So... His chip was probably worth uh, $25 each. Because it looks like she gave him $25 in the same, the same uh, stack. Same uh, height of the stack. How much is there... Uh, None of your business crap, son. I don't think I ever checked that here. Got a little three-seater here. I bet it's $5. Anyone want to bet? I'm going to go with $5. I didn't see it beforehand. $3. Everybody that said $3, I owe you big time. You should win a prize. I'll have a bologna sandwich to the next winner. God, there's so many people in suits just standing around doing nothing. Absolutely doing nothing. That's Gavin Newsom. What's he doing here? Oh yeah, he lives next door. Yeah. 
supposedly, I don't know which one of these. Uh, maybe this whole this whole collection right here is uh, is a million dollars. That's what I heard someone saying, and the person in the, the person that does my jewelry actually is a worker here. She um, she makes all my jewelry, but supposedly this is a million dollars. Which would be a bargain on the jewelry that she makes for me. She charges me a lot more than that. But I have to say, the, she accessorizes me so, so good. So well, I should say. If I've got that much money, I should speak properly. Okay, uh, that's the... Uh, that's the